today we going to discuss about tRNA the adapter molecule in molecular genetics unit 2 chapter 5 zoology tRNA the adapter molecule tRNA means what transfer ribonucleic acid is simply named as tRNA so tRNA that is t is the transfer so it transfers the amino acids in the cytoplasm and the codons in the mRNA from one that is from one place to another that is where the ribosomes takes place the where the protein synthesis takes place in the ribosome for that it carries the messages through codons and amino acids so it is acting as a vehicle there no to carry the amino acids and the codons and the mRNA so that so it is called as a vehicle so it is called as a tRNA because of this carrier activity property carrier property it is called as adapter molecule so where you come across the adapter so while charging we use a cell adapter to put, put our cell phone or to get an extra wire also we need a adapter so it is acting as an adapter molecule which is adapting the one one amino acid to take to the another place for protein synthesis and this adapter molecule word was proposed by Francis Crick and it is a two dimensional clover leaf model this model was proposed by Robert Hooley and the secondary structure of clover leaf model that is it looks like the secondary structure of tRNA looks like a clover leaf so it is it looks like a, this so it is a clover leaf model and next we move on to the structure of a tRNA so the tRNA that is actually the tRNA is not a clover leaf only in two dimensional view we can see we able to see it is a clover leaf model but actually the model that is the structure is inverted L shape so the clover leaf model has three arms so it has three arms d h u arm okay d h u arm this is t psi c t psi c arm and the middle arm so these are the three arms present in the clover leaf model and the three arms have loops so the three arms that is this is the arm D arm, this is T psi C arm, and this is the middle arm. And these have three loops, no, that is D loop, anticodon loop, and T psi loop. So, uh, that is they have at their ends, the end only they are present, okay. And in addition, that is they have an variable arm, so a small clump. A small clump is seen in this and this is called variable loop or extra arm. Okay and the amino acid here the amino acid is attached position. So it is called as amino acid acceptor loop or amino acid acceptor arm. Opposite it you can see an anticodon loop. So which has which has th these three as G, A, A. This is the anticodon opposite to the amino acid acceptor loop. The amino acid will attach it here only. That is in this amino acid acceptor loop only. Opposite it is the anticodon and it carries the mRNA coding and to produce the polypeptide chain that is peptide chain and the bonding between the peptide chain increases to increases the polypeptide chain. And the third position in the anticodon can form oobling that you have seen in the previous class. That is the oobling hypothesis. That is oobling the RNA. That is the mRNA can code another. That is instead of adenine pairs with uracil. Instead of uracil you can see cytosine. So that process that is called the oobling hypothesis. Okay. That is oobling hypothesis and the process of adding amino acid that is here we will see it so the first one it is here it is the amino acid 
that is amino acyl tRNA X synthetase. This is an enzyme. And the adding of amino acid to tRNA that is called amino acylation. That is adding of amino acid to the adding of amino acid to the tRNA is called amino acylation. That was carried by this enzyme amino acyl tRNA synthetase. So during this process the ATP and adenine that is the ATP and the adenylic acid is also added. Okay the next process after this is amino acyl adenylic acid with the it is attached to the tRNA that is it is attached to the enzyme amino acyl amino acyl now the amino acyl adenylic acid is added that is which contains an a phosphorus and adenine in this enzyme plus now it going to add on with the tRNA tRNA that time you have you can see the ATP along with ATP because the ATP is the energy to carry it gives the energy to carry the amino acid to the site of protein synthesis for tRNA so now after this what happens means the amino acid here you have amino acid no that was charged with the tRNA. So here the tRNA is charged with the amino acid. When the amino acid is attached to the amino acid acceptor arm of tRNA that tRNA is called charged one and now the amino acid as, that is uh, tRNA synthetase plus that is phosphorus and adenic acid are removed so this is so this process is taken place in the tRNA so now the tRNA is called as an adapter molecule because it is charging the amino acids and taking place to the place where the protein synthesis is going on along with this the polypeptide chain also it is carrying in opposite side in the anticodon loop okay and the tRNA that is as you have seen the X. tRNA X means the specific amino acid to be carried. So the specific amino acid will be charged. So for that they had mentioned the X. Okay. Thank you for watching the video. If you like give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.